The final quality controls of the Batak brand 2500 model dry gluten device are carried out in the Batak Quality Control Laboratory, which has an international accreditation certificate. Batak brand 2500 model dry gluten device is placed on a flat and solid surface. The grounding of the laboratory where the device will be installed is measured. The grounding value should be less than or equal to 5 ohms. If not, the grounding line is drawn again. The device should not be used by persons other than the operator who knows how to use the device. There should be no flammable or combustible materials on or near the device. Unauthorized persons and companies should not be allowed to interfere with the device. In case of any problem, Batak Technical Service should be contacted. In order to determine the dry gluten values, the Batak brand 2500 model dry gluten device is plugged into the socket. On the LCD screen on the control box of the device, the test temperature of 150 degrees in the upper left corner, the test duration of 240 seconds in total in the upper right corner, and the test stages are seen in the lower line of the screen. When the device is turned on, it automatically reaches the international standard test temperature of 150 degrees, the text, ready, appears on the screen and gives an audible warning. Then the upper cover of the device is opened and the wet gluten is placed in the device with the help of a forceps, the cover is closed. It should be noted that the door lock is fully closed. After the top cover of the device is closed, the device starts the test by pressing the start button and the text, testing, appears on the screen. When the test is over, the device gives an audible warning and the top cover is opened by the operator. A scale with 0, 0,0 and 0,1 precision is used to carry out the weighing process of dried gluten. For this purpose, the weighing cup is placed on the scale and tear is taken, then the dry gluten obtained from the first pan is taken with the help of a forceps, weighed and recorded. In order to calculate the percent dry gluten value of the first pan, the value obtained in weighing is multiplied by 10. In order to calculate the percent dry gluten value of the second pan, the value obtained in weighing is multiplied by 10. Dry gluten value on the left side of the device screen is entered as 11,6 and saved. The dry gluten value on the right is entered as 11,8 and saved. Then, by pressing the print button again, the printout is taken. By pressing the feed button, the output length of the paper is extended in order to tear off the printout more easily. Company information on the upper part of the paper we receive as a printer printout. In the second line, the time on the left, the date on the right. In the third line, ambient temperature. In the middle of the fourth line, sample type. In the fifth line, the left sample name on the left, the right sample name on the right. In the sixth, seventh and eighth lines wet gluten, gluten index and dry gluten values are seen. When it is desired to take the average of the obtained values, the average values can be seen on the device screen by pressing the average button after the recording process. Thank you.